Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've been looking at Divi 5 recently. It's not quite ready for release yet, but we can play with it and we can check out all the features. One thing that they've introduced from Divi 4 is Flexbox, which is fantastic. For anybody that doesn't know, it's the way things display on different device screens. It's a great thing. I used to put in a bit of CSS and use it all the time with Divi 4, but now they've actually built it in. So just to show you an example, we'll build a little section today. We'll put a few images in there and we'll use a bit of Flexbox. Let's get started. Okay, I've enabled the visual build here. Let's start a new section. Now there's a few things you want to think about. Usually I, on my desktop here, start a section with the number of columns that I wanted in it already. Let's just close that down for expediency. All I'm going to do is drag these in here. I want to do it from scratch so you can see that everything that's going on here. Now, as you can see, as this top one, I've got it displaying flex. It's changing size. Now we can actually get rid of this. Just saved a bit of time loading photos there. Now for Flexbox, you think we could go into our row over to design. Here's the layout. It's set to flex by standard. Now you think if I did that, it would display four in a row on both tablet and mobile, but it's not happening. And I haven't actually figured out a way to get four columns here. I guess we could use a group or do it somewhere like that to actually respond to the flex. So what I've actually done is the simplified method, is, which is what I'd do if I was building an HTML or bootstrap site. Let's start a new section here. For anybody who doesn't quite understand what I'm doing here, I wanted this to have four images in a row and also four images in a row here, unless we tell it not to. So let's add a new section this time. This time I'm going to put in a single column. And again, to expedite this, I'm just going to drag these down. It's pretty quick to move things around in DV5. I'm just pulling all down to this single column here. And we'll get rid of this section at the top. Okay, so we've got four images here in a single column. Now we can get to work. What I'm going to do is go into the row, the green tab. And then I'm going to go into the column right here under the row. If we go over to our design and layout, this is where you find your flex. Layout style flex, great. Layout direction, I want it to go from left to right. There we have it. We've got our four little columns there just the way I wanted it originally. But the difference between Divi 4 and 5 is that the initial setup, you just want to use a single column for simplicity and then tell it how many items you want in there. At the moment, if we added another item, it would just add it to our little row here. For instance, if I clone this, you'll see we've now got five here. And that's the beauty of Flexbox. Now you can change the horizontal and vertical gap here if you want to. Mine's fine for me at the moment. But let's take a look on tablet and mobile again. So if I go to tablet, fantastic. They're still displaying the same way. Like I say, you can change the vertical and horizontal gaps if you need to here. Let's change those to that's 20 on tablet. As you can see, it tightens them up a bit. And we'll do the same for the vertical. Let's have a look on mobile. I think that's going to be too much for mobile. I mean, it really is. It's, it's sort of, <laughs> you can't really see those images very well. They're too small. Of course, you could butt them up against each other by putting a little zero in there so there's no gap. The other thing you could do, you can make this row full width just on the little mobile to make them a little bit bigger. Let's do that for fun. Let's perhaps put in five and five. Now, give us a bit of more space to play with. But if we go into our row now, back to the green tab there, we can make it full width by design, sizing. Here's the width at the moment. It's 80% on mobile. Let's make it 100. Perfect. Well, that gives us a bit more to play with there, but still for me, that would be too much to squeeze in to a mobile device. So what we can do, let's go back into our column again. So we'll go into the row and you'll find the column at the top here. If we go back into our column now, we go to mobile. 
we're on mobile fantastic what we can do is go over to our design and layout settings and if we roll down to the bottom here we can wrap our little layout here little switch right there and that'll put it back into singles for us and we've got them stacking on top of each other on mobile which is exactly what we want there well exactly what i want obviously you may want to do things differently on your side if we go back to tablet they should be in a row fantastic and of course desktop they'll be in that row again now they do have other options but i tend to keep mine really simple rather than having wrapping on different devices at different sizings and having to change those settings i'd probably just duplicate this row and have another file underneath that way we've got everything the way that we want it but for those of you that actually want to find out how to make individual items wrap the way that you want them to you can go into the original item itself just by clicking on it you can go into the design and sizing you can go into each individual item give it a percentage size that way you can have different displays on each device but i like to keep mine simple and this is going to work for me so we've got five and five and then we got them stacked nicely on the mobile so like i say divi has implemented this flex it is great let's just make sure it's all going to work on the front end let's save draft and we'll preview Here's our desktop. If I hit my F12 key, I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools here. Let's get my mobile devices. We've got an iPad Air. Yep, we've got five on there. And if we go down to a far, an iPhone, we should have them stacked on top of each other. Perfect. And because we made that row full width, we've got no gap either side. And we changed the gap on the actual images themselves. So they've implemented it. It's working pretty well. There's a few things that we need to take care of. We should more easily be able to adjust the size of these. But for my purposes for this demo today, it's done pretty well. It's working on both tablet and mobile changing. And of course, on desktop, we've got this. So there we have it, guys. There's just a little overview of the new Flexbox system that they've just implemented into Divi 5. We're still in the alpha stage, so I really wouldn't recommend that you migrate your sites with it. You can build from scratch, apparently. But personally, I'll be waiting uh, quite a lot longer before I change my client sites over to Divi 5. We're almost there, and it's going to be fantastic. And here's just one other example of how they're coming along. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.